G'day guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play a fingerstyle arrangement of Amazing Grace. This is a simple fingerstyle arrangement, but it sounds really great and it's a lot of fun to play. The guitar I'm playing in this lesson is the new Lava Me 3, which has an inbuilt three and a half inch touchscreen that adds smart features like inbuilt effects and a looper to this guitar without the need for any external pedals or amps. If you wanna check out my full review of this guitar, I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Now for the basics of this song, you will need to get your guitar into drop D tuning. So what you'll need to do is take the low E down two semitones to a D note. I'm gonna add a little bit of reverb to my guitar tone to make things sound even nicer. Now this isn't necessary, but on the Love Me 3, you have access to dozens of effects. I'm going to pick Infinite Universe, which is a really nice reverb. So let's start with our finger picking basics. Now your thumb will take care of the sixth, fifth and fourth strings and your index, middle and ring finger will take care of the third, second and first strings respectively. Ideally, they shouldn't pluck any other strings other than the ones they've been assigned to. So let's start with verse number one and there's four lines of tab here. So we're gonna start with our ring finger on the second fret of the third string. We're gonna pluck that and then slide all the way up to seventh. So when you play a slide, you wanna apply pressure onto that note and apply pressure the whole time whilst you're sliding. So that's the lead in note and then we'll start the main section of the song. So for this next bar, we'll start by pinching the sixth and third strings together and then we'll pluck the fifth string by itself. Those first two notes are on the beat, so one, two. And then with your pinky finger, put it on the seventh fret of the second string and have your index finger here ready on the fifth fret of the second string. You're gonna pluck the second string and pull off from seventh to fifth, and then pluck the third string. And that's a triplet, like that. And the bar in total. After that, you'll put your pinky back down onto the seventh row of the second string. We'll pinch the sixth and second strings together in the open fifth, and then lift your pinky and pluck the fifth fret of the second string. So that bar in total. Then you're gonna shift your index finger down to the third fret of the second string, and your ring finger will go onto the fifth fret of the sixth string. We'll pinch the sixth and second strings together and then you'll hit the open fourth. And then with your middle finger, go onto the fourth fret of the third string and pluck that. And this is all on the beat as well. So one, two, three. And then your ring finger will quickly shift down to the second fret of the third string. And you'll pinch the sixth and third strings and then the open fifth. And then we'll play that lead in slide. So second fret to seventh on the third string and the first line of tab in total. For the second line of tab, this first bar is identical to the second bar in that first line. So we've already learned that, where we have the pinch, the open fifth string and the pull off. For the next bar, we'll put our pinky finger back down, pinch the sixth and second strings, open fifth string, and then with your free middle finger, you'll go to the fifth fret of the second string, pluck that, and slide it up to the tenth fret. With your middle finger here, we'll now get into this chord shape. So index finger will now bar across the ninth fret of the third, second, and first strings, and your ring finger will go onto the eleventh fret of the fourth string. Now with your thumb, you'll just strum the middle four strings like that. And then we'll pluck the fourth, third, second, and first strings. So the bar, one, two, and three, and. And then with your pinky finger, go onto the 12th fret of the first string. And at this point, you don't need to buy your next finger anymore. You can just put it on that ninth fret of the third string. And we're just going to, again, strum with our thumb all the way to the first string this time. We're gonna hold that strum out for two beats and then your index finger is gonna go to the second fret of the first string. We'll pluck that 
and slide up to the fifth fret of that first string. And that's it for the second line of tab, which sounds like this. Next we get to the third line of tab. Now our index finger is already here on the fifth fret of the first string. So what we need to do is take our ring and pinky finger and put them on the seventh frets of the third and second string. We'll start by pinching the sixth and first strings and then the open fifth string and then we'll play that pull off lick. So for that lick you will need to lift your index finger from that fifth fret of the first string and put on the fifth fret of the second string. For the second bar we put our pinky finger back down onto that 7th fret of the 2nd string, pinch the 6th and 2nd strings, open 5th, lift your pinky finger and hit that 5th fret of the 2nd string. And then for this 3rd bar we play the exact same thing we did in the 1st line of tab where we go down here in this position, so 5th fret of the 6th string and 3rd fret of the 2nd string. Like that. And then for our final bar, you'll move your middle finger down to the second fret of the third string. And what you'll also do is put your ring finger on that third fret of the second string. We'll start by pinching the sixth and third strings, and then the open fifth, and then two quick notes here, the third and second. So that bar. And the third line of tab in total. For the final line of tab, with our middle and ring finger here, we'll get into a B minor 7 position, so index finger will just then go onto the 2nd fret of the 5th string. We'll pinch the 5th, 3rd and 2nd strings together, and then the open 4th, and then with your middle finger, lift it and go to the 2nd fret of the 1st string. Pluck that, and pull off, and then pluck the 3rd fret of the 2nd string. So that last little lick and the bar in total. Now from this position, slide your ring finger up to the seventh fret of the second string. Index will go onto the sixth fret of the third string and you can put your middle finger here on the seventh fret of the fourth string. We'll start by pinching the open fifth, third and second strings. Hold that out for two beats and then go to the fifth fret of the second string and that ends that bar, so one, two, three. And then we're gonna play a D at 11 shape like this. So it's the same as a C chord shape, but just shifted up two frets. And we'll start by pinching the sixth and second string. So the open sixth string here. And then we have four plucks, which is the fourth, third, second, and third string. So that bar in total, one, two, and three, for the final bar, we'll pinch the sixth and fourth strings together. So this is one instance where you can move your designated fingers. So the index finger will go up from the third string to the fourth string. We hold that out for two beats, and then we end this with that lead in note. We had the start of the first verse, like that. And the fourth line of tab in total. So that's it for verse 1, at 75 and 100% speed it will sound like this.
Again, I want to note that all the effects that you hear, that reverb sound, is all coming straight from the guitar. There's no external effects, I'm not plugged in. It's all coming from this High Lover Smart System. And if you want to check out my review for this particular guitar, you can check that out in the link in the description below. Okay, we get to verse two now, which is similar to verse one, except there's added notes to make things sound a little bit fuller. So we're going to start in this position. So ring and pinky finger on the seventh frets of the third and second string. We're gonna start with a pinch of the sixth and third strings. And then we're gonna pluck the open fifth, open fourth, and open fifth. This is at eighth notes, so one and two and and then we'll play that pull off lick and put your pinky back down and we'll pinch the sixth and second strings and then again open fifth open fourth and open fifth and then you lift your pinky finger hit the fifth fret of the second string and then back to the open fifth string so that second bar and the first two bars Then we'll go to this G shape we had in the first verse. So index finger on the third fret, ring finger on the fifth fret of the sixth string. We'll start with a pinch of the sixth and second strings, and then we'll pluck the fourth, open third, open fourth, and then your middle finger will come down on the fourth fret of the third string, pluck that, and then back to the open fourth string. So that bar in total. And then your ring finger will come onto the second fret of the third string. We'll start by pinching the open sixth and third strings together. Then you'll pluck the open fifth, open fourth, and open fifth. We'll end this line of tab by playing that lead in lick. So slide from second to the seventh. And the first line of tab in total. For the second line of tab, the first bar is identical to the first bar in the first line of tab, so we've relearned that. Then for the second bar, we'll put our pinky finger back down, start by pinching the sixth and second strings, then the open fifth, open fourth, open fifth string, then with your free middle finger, go onto the fifth fret of the second string, pluck that, and slide up to the tenth fret, much in the same way as we did in the first verse. So this bar. And then we're going to do the exact same thing that we did in the first verse where we strum those middle four strings and then pluck the fourth, third, second and first string of this chord shape. For the next bar, you can lift your ring finger and put your pinky finger onto the 12th fret of the first string. We're going to pinch the open fifth, third, second and first strings here. And then you can lift your pinky finger so it'll just be your index finger barring across the ninth fret and your middle finger on the 10th fret. We'll pluck those three strings and then you'll shift your index finger down to the fifth fret barring the first and second string and your middle finger goes onto the sixth fret of the third string. We'll pluck that. Then we go to an A chord shape and we're gonna strum from the fifth string down. And then to end this second line of tab, second fret of the first string, pluck it and slide up to fifth. So the last three bars. And in total for the second line of tab. Now for the third line of tab, we're gonna start by getting into this position and we'll pinch the sixth and first strings together. Then open fifth, open fourth, open fifth, and that pull off lick. Pick your finger comes back down. This is the same as the second bar of the first line of tab. Then we go to our G chord shape, which is the same as the third bar of the first line of tab. 
Then we're gonna move our middle finger down to the second fret and put our ring finger on the third fret of the second string. We'll start by pinching the open sixth and third strings, and then fifth, fourth, fifth string, and then third and second. So the final bar. And the third line of tab and total. For the final line tab, we get into that B minor seven position. We'll pinch the fifth, third, and second strings. Then the open fourth, third, open fourth. Then with your middle finger, lift it and do that pull off lick from the second fret of the first string. And the bar in total. And then for the next bar, we get into this shape that we had similar to the first verse. We'll pinch the fifth, third and second strings and then fourth string third string fourth string and then with your index finger go to the fifth fret of the second string so this bar in total and then for the third bar we go to this D at 11 shape and we play it the same way that we did in the first verse And then to end this fourth line of tab, we end with that pinch of the sixth and fourth strings. So the fourth line of tab in total. So that's verse two in total, which sounds like this at 75 and 100% speed. So the final thing we need to learn is the outro, which is just two bars and it's really nice and easy, but it sounds great. So we're gonna put our middle finger on the eighth fret of the second string, index finger on the seventh fret of the first string. We'll pinch the sixth, second and first strings all together and then open sixth again. And then we'll slide our index finger down to fifth and our ring finger will now go onto the seventh fret of the second string. We'll pluck those two strings and then the open fifth string again. We'll slide this shape down two frets We'll pluck the top two strings, but hammer on your pinky finger onto the fifth fret of the first string, like that. And then we'll go to a D shape, and you can end the song by strumming all the strings, since our open E string is now a D. So all together for the outro. And those are all the parts to this song. If you want to find out more about the new Lava Me 3 that has a three and a half inch touchscreen inbuilt effects in an inbuilt looper, then I'll leave a link to my review of this in the description below.
So now I'm gonna be playing through the finger style arrangement in its entirety. So feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to practice playing along to and see how you go. Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzerodihero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.